See, as children, we had so many dreams. You might ask one person, what do you want to be when you grow up? They might say a dancer. They might say a doctor. Depending on which child you ask, they might say even a cat or a dog. But see, something about being a child, something about that innocence, something about believing that you can truly be that thing. See, when we were children, we had that imagination. We felt like we could do everything. But somewhere in between our childhood to adulthood, we lost that. Somewhere somebody spoke over us and told us that we couldn't do it, that we couldn't have it, that we couldn't be it. Somewhere we dropped the ball and they failed us. I want to come speak to that little girl and that little boy that once dreamed, that once felt like they can be that doctor, they can be that dancer, they could be that singer, they could be that ball player. That little girl and that little boy still lives in you. They still dreaming. They still crying out. But now what you gotta do is brush off all the word curses that's been spoken over your life and dare to dream again. Dare to dream again. Not only dream, baby, but start putting some action behind that thing. Even if you gotta do it one step at a time, there's so much more waiting on you. There's so much more waiting behind that pain. There's so much more waiting behind that doubt, behind that fear, behind that anxiety. There's so much more waiting for you. God has already predestined your life. And just because somebody spoke over it and said that it was not so does not mean he has not already done it. All you got to do now is stir up that gift again. All you got to do now is brush out the cobwebs. If that means you going back to school, baby, do that. Don't let nobody tell you you're too old to do something that God has already predestined for you. He's already mapped it out for you. All you got to do is come into alignment with what he has spoken over your life, not man. If you listen to man, baby, you'll be nothing. You'll be broke, busted, and disgusted. And that's keeping it 100. But I come to encourage you on today. I'm speaking to that child that left the dream back in their adolescence years. Left the dreams and the hopes back when they were a child. Baby, it's time to pick it back up. It's time to dream again. I don't care what your dream may have been. It's still available to you because you still got breath in your body. Because you woke up this morning. God is still saying you have another opportunity to get that thing right. You have another opportunity to go after it. You have another opportunity to be that person. Don't let fear stop you. Don't let shame stop you. Don't let guilt stop you. Don't let you having children stop you. Don't let the voices that spoke over your life stop you. Go back, pick it up, start again. And this time, baby, go all the way. This time, baby, take it all the way home. This time, make the doubters a believer. This time, baby, you do you. Don't worry about what nobody else around you saying or doing. You focus on you. It's tunnel vision, baby. It's tunnel vision in this season. Ain't nobody do what you do, how you do it, like you do it. And the vision won't be brought forth in that kind of manner, in that kind of way, until you step forth and put your hand on it. God has already given you the gift, the creativity, the audacity, the courage. He has given it to you. You got to believe in you. You got to believe in you. This is your season, baby, to start dreaming again. Start doing again. I speak life to you, little girl. I speak life to you little boy the dream is still yours god says my promises are still yes and amen start dreaming again start doing start acting this is your season to do that